Hello everyone, I'm Candace Sipos with JSA and we are here in Cannes, France for Data Cloud Global Congress. We are bringing you a special edition of the Data Movers podcast and video series where we focus on all things future sector, looking, uh, speaking with our next generation of digital infrastructure leaders. And so I have a leader like that with me today. I have L Leah Fyodorchenko uh, from Stoltz. So your title is Junior Project Engineer for Global Key Accounts at Stoltz. Um, so I will just dive right in and ask you what inspired you to pursue a career in this industry? Um, yeah, so I got into this industry a bit, let's say, more in coincidence. I did my bachelor's degree um, uh, with Stultz together. Um, and so I got into this industry and got mainly um, yeah, stayed there because of the people. I have a great team at Stultz and also all the people I met here at the Congress or events or also the clients are all very passionate and I kind of, kind of enjoy it. And I think the data center industry is especially interesting because it normally it's not an industry where you have a lot of touch points with. Um, and it's like the core of our lives and the core of our industry and uh, it's great to be a part of that, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I love that answer. All about the people, right? Yeah. Um, and so second part of that question, how has the Talent in Tech program helped you so far? Yeah. Um, so Talent in Tech, I think the... Uh, Great, the greatest about this is to get in touch with young uh, professionals which you have not met otherwise and also the opportunity for example today we just had a lunch with uh, two uh, panels and we, are, we, yeah, we had the opportunity to ask questions about their let's say personal career path and their yeah, ambitions in the industry and that is quite an opportunity which I much appreciate. Yeah, that's a huge opportunity. That's incredible. Um, okay, so what, from your perspective, what role do you see the next generation playing in the data center industry when it comes to building more sustainable and efficient data centers? Yeah, so I think in general, um, whenever young people enter into an existing industry or also in a company, of, of course, it brings like new energy. And I think the uh, yeah one of the tasks from uh, for us young people is to challenge existing beliefs and challenge our colleagues, challenge the industry, and also um, of course benefit from the um, people who are working in this industry for years because they are such a rich uh, knowledge available and such huge skill set. And I think if you combine that both like the new energy with the existing skill set, that can create uh, yeah a lot of innovation. Yeah, I love that answer. That's so true. Okay, so this is a fun last question. So 10 years from now, what changes do you hope to see in the way our industry approaches sustainability and innovation, like you were just saying? Yeah, huge question. <laughs> um, yeah, 10 years from now, like in general, I would wish that the um, whole environmental and sustainable, sustainability topic is uh, more seen like as a chance uh, instead of a threat. So I would also like the industry to really... Um, yeah, go forward and be ahead of any uh, country regulations um, we have at the moment and um, yeah, to really also yeah, create an acceptance also in the communities data centers are built in and um, yeah, really advocate for the need of data centers and also yeah, prove that data centers can be sustainable and also can benefit uh, the communities. I think that's really important and um, yes, overall the other thing maybe is um, that I wish that sustainability is, of course, not only about um, yeah, the uh, energy efficiency, but also that we build reliable and long-lasting data centers, um, which is, of course, very important for the customers. And I think that is also like the tricky one, because due to AI and liquid cooling, the industry is moving very, very fast. And then to combine the flexibility you need uh, for liquid cooling uh, together with like long lasting solutions, like durable solutions, uh, I think that is quite a challenge. Um, but I hope we, we will, or I'm pretty sure the industry will manage that in 10 years for sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I love what you said about seeing it as an opportunity instead yes. of a threat. Yeah, that's a great way to end. Thank you so much, Leah, for being with us on Data Movers. And thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us here in Cannes, France. Happy networking, everyone.